My name is Keith Nickel and I have been sharing videos on how to improve your cross-country ski technique and other outdoor activities on YouTube for several years. It started with trying to help my university students remember some of the key drills to improve their cross-country and telemark skiing, and now my channel has grown to over 4,500 subscribers and my videos have been viewed over 3.5 million times. So thanks to all of you for subscribing and viewing these videos. I would like to get to 5,000 subscribers and 4 million views this winter, so if you find my videos useful, please share them with skiers you think might benefit. Sometimes I answer questions from viewers, and this one comes from Ken from Edmonton, Canada. He asks, when I skate on my skis, I can't seem to get much power. My skis slide across the snow. Any suggestions for helping me? Thanks for the question, Ken, and I come across this issue a lot when I teach people how to skate. So here are some suggestions. When I teach people how to skate, I always start without poles, since this will focus on just one aspect of skating, using your legs. Unlike classic skiing, where you push down and back for power, in skating you need to push to the side, often edged ski. So in Ken's case, he might be pushing off a flat ski, as I show here, which will result in the ski sliding sideways, which produces little push off. Alternatively, Ken might be pushing too far back, like I demonstrate here, using a blend of striding and skating, which won't give you much skating power either. An indicator of too much push back is that the ski tip often drags in the snow, as you can see here. What we would like to see is a nice straight-edged ski track in the snow, which shows that the ski is not sliding sideways, as you can see in this case. Here are some drills that I use with skiers in my classes to help them develop a solid push-off. I often take off a ski and demonstrate how to push off by flexing the ankles, knees, and hips slightly and then extending the leg as you push off an edged ski. Remember you want the weight to be in the center of your foot when you push off and be sure to try this with both your right and left legs. This is what happens when I push off a ski that is too flat and not edged. Another way to practice this is to do the circle skate, as I show here. This will allow you to skate repeatedly off of one leg. Remember to do the circle skate in each direction so that each leg gets a chance to push off. A final drill that I use with students is to do the marathon skate on a slight downhill with one ski in the track and one ski pushing. Be sure to do this with both your right and your left legs skating off. In these cases, you want to leave a clean, edged track in the snow with no sliding. So try these drills or exercises if you are having a hard time developing a solid push-off when you skate on skis. It is worth pointing out that the snow in these demos is quite hard, so getting a good push-off is difficult. The best snow for learning to skate is where there is a thin layer of soft snow on top of a firmly groomed surface. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share it with skiers you think might benefit.